Welcome to Around the Dog World here at the Staffordshire County Showground. We are here today for the penultimate general championship show of the year. This is Midland Counties 2013. The Dog Show Fraternity are all travelling to the West Midlands this weekend for Midland Counties Championship Dog Show in the hope that on Sunday night, Best in Show judge Tom Mather points to them as this weekend's ultimate winner. Now, over the course of the show, we'll have expert analysis from Di Johnson, plus coverage of the groups and Best in Show. And we'll also have exclusive interviews with the top judges and winners. About now, we usually go and take a look back at the shows we've missed, but we haven't missed any. So we can go straight to the main ring for the first group of the weekend. That's the pastoral group, judged by Ferla Summerfield. Let's hear it for the ball, the Colleen. The Finnish Lapund. The Norwegian Bullhunt. The Old English Sheepdog. The Samoyed. The Shetland Sheepdog. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi. The Cardigan Corgi. The first group winner of Midland Counties 213, the pastoral group winner, is the Bullock Colony. Group 2, the Samoyed. Group 3, the Shetland Sheepdog. Group four, the Cardinal Group. Our congratulations to those remaining. Remember, they still go away with the title of Best of Breed. The Border Collie, the Samoyed, the Shetland Sheepdog, and the Cardinal Group. Congratulations, Gary. That's your second group win with Fitzy this year. Well done. That's, yeah, correct. We uh, won uh, a group earlier this year at Windsor. Uh, the day he won his third ticket, uh, we've now won eight CCs with today's, and uh, that was his second group, so it's been a fantastic year. We're very, very thrilled. I'm particularly pleased because, obviously, I won today the bitch ticket, so we actually came up against you in the challenge, and you just pipped me to it. Yes, it was a very close uh, decision, so I understand, and uh, you handled the bitch very well, but um, I'm very pleased to be here uh, being interviewed by you at this point in the day <laughs> instead. So it was a great day, thank you. Well, Fitzy looks in glorious condition. Is there anything you could be going to be doing between now and Sunday? Uh, no, tomorrow he'll be taken out for his normal exercise. He'll be on the canals, he'll get dirty, same on Saturday, and then... Um, a rebath on Sunday morning and then the drive back down from Manchester. So, no, it'll be his normal routine. All right, well, thank you very much, Gary, for joining us. Best of luck on Sunday. Thank you again. The Bazenji. The long haired Daxon.
the miniature wire-haired dachshund. The deer hound. The greyhound. The Rhodesian Ridgeback. The Saluki. The Standard Smooth Jackson. The indication is the balls to be brought in. The deer hunt. The Norwegian Ridgeback is good too. The Saluki is group three. And the standard smooth dancing is group four. Ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation for all the others for leaving the ring. Group two, the Ridgeback. Group three, the Saluki. Group four, the Smooth Dachshund. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for staying. So the winner of the Hound Group at Midland Counties 2013 is a deer hound, but you'll never guess what its name is. It's called Peapod. Now, <laughs> I'm joined by Johnny and Ali, who are the co-owners of Peapod. Just, I want to know, where did that name come from? Well, we weren't keeping a dog, and he actually had on a green, one of the green collars when he was a baby, um, and we just nicknamed him Peapod, thinking he would get another name when he went to his new home, but he was just, we couldn't part with him. And he Did was you not the second pick dog. Second pick? Because we weren't keeping a dog, so the top one, the, the pick went to a pet home, actually, because she was going to show him, but didn't show him in the end, and we ended up with him. <laughs> That's great. And now, Johnny, just tell us a little bit about Peapod's record in the show ring. Um, he's had, what, six CCs? Yeah, seventh, yeah, seventh CC today, six best of breeds. Um, five reserve tickets. Yeah, five reserve tickets. Yeah. Is that really it, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah. And it's not often we see a deer hound top the group, is it? Not often. Not often. There's been a bitch, um, one bitch that's had two groups this year and a group three, and another bitch that had a group so this year. So it's it's all really been quite a good year, year for deer hounds, actually. Well, many congratulations to you both Thank and you to Peapod as well. I love that name, the best name <laughs> of Thank the year so far. And we'll see you on Sunday. Lovely. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much indeed. Ferrellith Summerfield, you've just judged two groups on the first day of Midland Counties. How did it all go for you? I enjoyed it very much. They were, both groups were good with yeah. some very, very nice dogs and I was delighted with my winners. Yeah. And but they they didn't win. I mean it wasn't clear cut right. because there were some good ones behind. Um, tell us a bit about the Border Collie. What did you what did you think of it in particular? Well he was in wonderful condition. His body was just right. He's a very, very good mover and he showed well. His coat was good. He, he was in top form, yeah. and I hadn't seen him before, but he moved very well, and that's very important yeah. for me. So you must have thought the same about the Deerhound, and, and this one isn't a winner before, and new to the, the top ranks. Yes, I, I like the Deerhound immensely. Deerhound was one of my the first breeds I judged right. outside my own breeds, right back in the 60s. Wow. So I've always... It was lovely. Had a soft spot. Well, I, yes, <laughs> and it was lovely that it was my last hand group judging, yes. and I found a dear <laughs> hand that I really liked. Yeah. As you say, that's your, your last hand group. You're, you're coming to the end of a, a fantastic judging career. Uh, any highlights you can give us over that, that career? Well, unfortunately, there's been so many. <laughs> I mean, you know, doing all the groups at Crofts, yeah. of course, is a thing. But I've judged best and show at all the major terrier shows in the world. Wow. And I've judged 
at many of the royal shows in Australia. Fantastic. I've judged Best in Show in America. And, uh, but I always have a soft spot for the Scandinavian shows. They've always been very special. World. It's day two of Midland Counties. Now, Di, let's look back at day one, which is Pastoral and Hound, and my two favourite groups, actually, judged by Fairless Summerfield, who is going to be unfortunately retiring at the end of this year. And it's lovely of, to see her. Yes, one of the most respected judges over the years, and uh, yes, nice to see her. Um, she picked out the Border Collie as her Pastoral Group winner. Yes, interesting dog. He's the one, from, well, you know more about Border Collies than me, but he's the one that came in from Australia, That's isn't he? That's right, it? yeah. Saw him win the group at Windsor. Yep. Very well presented dog, Yes, I yeah, thought. he's in gleaming condition. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. Yes. So, yeah. group two, we had the Samoid. Yeah, I like the Samoid very much. We liked him at Ukanuba, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. But it, uh, he's, he's a very impressive dog, sent through by Rod Gretton, who really understands the Samoid. Yeah. Interesting Shelty, because the colour was interesting. He's a shaded sable, right. which you don't see that often. No, you don't. So the second group was the hound group. Uh, yeah. What were your thoughts on this one? I honestly thought the deer hound stood away. It just floated. It just really used the ring. It filled my eye, and I understand why Feffy would um, go straight away. I was sitting with Jeff Horswell, who had given the first ticket to that dog, and we were rooting. We really thought <laughs> that was a classy exhibit. Yeah. Group two was a, a really nice Rhodesian Ridgeback. Yes, very handsome, very nice. Um, Albert White, I think, had sent him through and came and had a chat with me afterwards, and we liked him a lot. Man's had good dogs yeah. and well, did them well. Yeah. And then, of course, we had the young Luke <laughs> Johnson, who um, is really so much part of the dog scene now. We all try and encourage him because he's, he's a good boy. And, of course, we saw him at Crufts, didn't yeah. we? And fourth, Jason. Yeah, Jason Hunt with yeah. the, the smooth Daxon. Yeah, lovely, absolutely. And Jason's... He was a young handler that's really... Well, he's still young. Yeah. But, uh, yes, they were nice. But, as we've said, Marina, the first four were nice. The groups were not star-studded as a whole, no, I felt. I have to agree with you there. Yeah. Glad we agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Di. Now, before we head to the groups on day two, Simon Bailey's gone to meet a very interesting individual. He's had a great day here at Midland Counties, and he's got a very amazing background. In the Bernese Mountain Dog Ring today, we saw Reserve CC going to a dog for the first time, but that's not the big story in the ring. I'm here with Conrad. Um, Conrad, I recognised you on the TV one day, um, a couple of months back. Yeah. Um, tell us why you're on the TV. Um, me, 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 my wife, me and my wife were trying to find a new home for, right. for, 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 for our family. Yeah. And um, we, we, we thought we'd give, give a shout and see if we get some help to try, try and find somewhere. Um, now there's some certain specifications because you were you were training for a, a particular event, weren't you? Yeah, I was trying to get. Oh yeah, I was training for the 2012 uh, Paralympics. Fantastic. Doing shot put. Wow. Um, but best we're going to know this 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 time. <laughs> this time, this yeah, time. Yeah. Th there's, there's plenty more occasions. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Again, that's that's not even the most interesting thing. You 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 were qualifying for the Paralympics. Yeah. Um, and you're handling dogs. Yeah. No, I'm registered blind. See. Right. Um. Yeah. I uh, to tax in the army. Right. So, um, yeah, it left me uh, quite a bit of visual impairment. The judge today, Jean Lanning, said we had to come and see you because she was so impressed by the, the way you held yourself in the ring. Um, I've learned now, um, before, before they go into the ring, pace out the ring. Yeah. So I know in my head how, how far it is because I can't see where I'm going around the ring because the limit vision I got is so small. Um, I found a couple of people from in the breed, uh, Bieber Markers. Yeah. So I, I, go, I go to them, they say turn, the next one turn, turn, and then I find the judge, and I go back to her. And um, the, the Bernese people have all been great. They've all jumped in tonight. They, 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 they really helped me out, and nothing too much trouble. I was speaking to you a couple of minutes ago, and you said that you're 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 loving dogs. Yeah, well, I've always loved dogs. Uh, I've had dogs all my life as, as a child growing growing up. So this is getting a guide dog. It's changed my life. 
and um, confidence confidence from that has grown and grown. So yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm, I'm loving dogs. It's great. Yeah, it is. Your appreciation there for the Airedale Terrier. And now the Dandy Dinmont Terrier. <laughs> the Irish Terrier. The Manchester Terrier. The Norwich Terrier. The Soft Coated Wheaton Terrier. The Staffordshire Wolf Terrier. The West Highland White Terrier. And finally, the Wire Fox Terrier. The boards have been called for. The time has come. We will know soon the winner of the Terrier Group. The Wild Fox Terrier. Group 2, the Airedale. Group 3. The West Highland Fight. The Norwich Terrier is Group 4. Ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation for those that are now leaving, leaving the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner on this Terrier Day, the Wire Fox Terrier. The Terrier Group winner was Travella Striking Steel yet again. Jeff Luscott was the judge. You look like you enjoyed that, Jeff. Yeah, great group. And I mean, as you could see, I pulled in actually more than you would do normally <laughs> because yeah. the choice in there today was fantastic. And I do really compliment the uh, judges of the other terriers for sending such wonderful specimens in. Um, the fox, or our fox, was stunning. I think his side action has even improved since I judged him before. <laughs> um, and the Airedale, stunning bitch really really good on the move has that attitude typical airedale attitude the westie one i've judged before i know and actually has won a group under me before but on today's performance she was wanting to be there or thereabouts yeah. but i could only get her into third with the <laughs> other two fantastic dogs and the norwich well i haven't seen that one before a uh, brand new one but um the lady always produces really yeah. good stock or brings yeah. out good stock its movement behind was so accurate fantastic now this year Jeff you've judged the two top dogs at the moment Travella Striking Steel and Afterglow um, Maverick Sabre and of course Tiffany as well yes, given oh, that yes, group yes, as well yeah. so you've judged them all which do you put top um, I think in their own way the excitement of the poodle the um, ultra sort of special stake about the the wire fox and Tiffany is just a sparkling girl, and uh, I, you know, to put you political could, answer, <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> I think you know, in their own way, they're all fantastic dogs. I, it was just my pleasure, and, and, and it's been great to actually go over and have those dogs under me in a group.
the Alaskan Malamute, the Boxer, the Doberman, the Great Dane, The new Newfoundland, the Rottweiler, the Saint Bernard, The boards have been called for. The boxer. Group two, the Doberman. The Rockweiler, group three. And group four, the Siberian has oh sorry, the Alaskan Malamute. Boxer, the Doberman, the Rockweiler, the Alaskan Malamute. This is Blue, the boxer, who took out the working group today. Yvonne Miller, this is your 24th champion you made up today. Yes. That's incredible. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, what a way is. to win the group as well. I know. Um, and his daughter won the Bitch CC today, and she got made up as well. Um, so so was that 23rd and 24th, or was no, that 24th no, and 25th? This was, she was owned by somebody else. Right. But, uh, yep, our 24th champion today, and... His third champion today. Fantastic. <laughs> so you've been breeding for how many years? Oh, 30 plus years. Every one, I think, special in its own right. Um, um, you know, all their wins are different for their own reasons. Some you expect, some, well, not expect, but some are, are more likely than others. Absolutely. Um, and... Uh, his third champion certificate's been a while in coming, so today was a huge success for us as far Fantastic. as I'm concerned. Fantastic. Well, huge congratulations. Thank you. You can fly back to Scotland, but you know now you have to fly back on Sunday. I know. I'll look forward to it. He looks like he's going already anyway. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks very much. <laughs> okay, so Terry, just like you said there, you don't hang about. That was a very quick group. You looked like you knew exactly what you were looking for. Thank you very much. Well, I did. And what's the point in going over and over and, and over again, <laughs> if you know what you like? And what were your overall thoughts on your working group today? Uh, it was very good. Uh, and the ones I picked out were just terrific. Well, the boxer that you gave Group 1 to actually was made up today. Yes, I believe it was. A, a magnificent dog. You're going to get a lot more CCs, believe you me. And just your thoughts on Group 2, the Doberman? Well, the Doberman, I've given reserve best in show at the LKA. I've given him another group another time before. He's absolutely stunning. You clearly liked I him then? I wouldn't change him in any way. And Group 3 was the Rottweiler, handled by young Mikayla. Well, Mikayla is a very good handler. She made that look terrific. It's got a beautiful head, it's a lovely bitch. Alaskan Malamute, it was not a bit fiery, it was a beautiful dog, lovely temperament, good to go over, and it moved like a dream. Well, you're not, your job is not over here at Midland Counties. We'll see you again tomorrow. Toy group. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. God bless you, my darling. If uh, the new chairman were sat in the audience tonight, yes. What would you ask him? To care. I see myself as the judge that was banned. Welcome 
two around the dog world on day three of Midland County's Championship Dog Show 2013. Before any of today's action, we need to take a look back at yesterday's winners. And Di, the Wire Fox Terrier Oliver, Travella Striking Steel does it again. Our old friend, yeah. looking good, who can take it away from him? No. Great dog, in his prime, great. And the, the first time we saw him was at Stafford early this year, yes, um, Birmingham National, yeah, where he won best in show. Yeah. You can see the maturity from then until now. Surely can. The dog's held condition, um, brilliantly presented. He's a great dog and people have enjoyed seeing a dog like that win. Yeah, and he's still rearing to go every time you see him in the ring as well. What a wise decision to hold him back until he was yeah. really right and could come out with a bang. Hard to do because you've got a puppy and you're dying to show it. <laughs> But it's sense, it makes sense to wait until yes. it's right. Yeah. Um, the second group on day two was the working group, yeah. won by one of your favourite breeds, yes, Boxer. Certainly. And this, this one, not a big winner. Interesting story. Now, he came out as a puppy and, and cleaned up. <laughs> Went best puppy in show, everybody loved him. Two tickets, maybe out of junior. And then, for some reason, languished a bit. Always thereabouts in the cards. And suddenly, he must be six now, pulls in his third ticket. And then he comes in and wins the working group. Take note, don't ever lose heart. If you've got a good dog, keep it in good condition, keep showing and you'll make it. <laughs> Inspiring speech there, Dan. <laughs> um, thank you very much. We'll catch up with you again tomorrow morning after tonight's groups. The first of which is the utility group, judged by Tom Mather. First to move, the Akita. The Chow Chow. The Dalmatian. The Japanese Spitz. The Miniature Schneider. The standard blue. The Tibetan Spaniel. The Shih Tzu. Already the boards have been called for. We await the winner of the utility group, the standard Google. The Akita Group 2. The Miniature Schmalzer Group 3. And the Tibetan Spaniel Group 4. Our congratulations to those dogs remaining in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the Utility Group 2013 at Midland Counties, the Standard Pool, Group 2, the Akita, Group 3, the Miniature Schneider, Group 4, the Tibetan Standard. The Bichon Frise. The smooth coated Chihuahua. The King Charles Spaniel. The Maltese. The Papillon. The Pekingese.
तो फमर नहीं हुई है The boards have been called for already. The decision, I am sure, has been made. The winner of the toy group is the Vision Frise Group Two. Is the smooth coated Chihuahua. Group three is the King Charles Spaniel, and group four is the Pekingese. Our toy group winner, group two, three, and four. This is Ernie. He's a Bichon Frise. This is Jeff and Michael. Ernie's had an incredible year again. Lots of group placings, but topped the group again. Yes, he has. Yeah, yeah. He's really coming into his own. I mean, he's not very old. I mean, you know, we started him off when he was quite young, and he's only like two and a half now, which is which is really young. And he's sort of, as I say, coming into his own now. He's looking the part, and he's, you know, being a Bichon. Well, he's he's going to follow in the footsteps of a certain Eric, hasn't he? Yeah. Tell us a bit about him, Michael. His dad, um, Eric. He was dog of the year. So I, I don't think he'll be dog of the year this year, but he'll be top. Be, he'll hopefully be top Bichon. Hopefully. What qualities do you see in him that you saw in Eric? Attitude, mm -hmm. showmanship. He's got breed type, but he's he's got that X factor, I think, which counts in the ring. He just comes alive. He just loves to show. Topped a really good group there as well, Jeff. It was an amazing group. Yeah, I mean the Chihuahua. I've always loved that Chihuahua. And of course, you had you know you had the, the King Charles in third, and and the, the big winning peak in four. And to win under Terry, he was you know Mr. Toy Dog. That was. Amazing, really thrilled. Welcome back to day four of Midland Counties here on Around the Dog World. I'm delighted to be joined by Di Johnson. Now, let's just talk about the first group last night that we saw, which was the utility group judged by Tom Mather. Yes. Did you watch? I did. It was, it was an object lesson, wasn't it, in yeah. judging? Most efficient display of judging, I thought. Ended up with two wonderful dogs. The standard poodle we all know and love. We've enthused all year about him. He's a great dog. In my opinion, and in the opinion of a lot of specialists, he's the best standard poodle we've ever seen. Yeah, he's incredible to look at, actually. And the Akita that we've followed since a baby, do you remember we liked him Lovely. at Southern Counters? Yeah. He's now got about seven cc's, and he was up there, wasn't he, yeah, with that great a, poodle? Yeah, he's only 13 months old as well. Yeah, absolutely stunning. And we had a miniature schnauzer in third. Yes, looked very nice, very robust little dog. And didn't the little Tibetan Spaniel take your breath away? Absolutely. I, Tom Mather really impressed me. Yeah. Yes, very much so. So, next up, toy group, Terry yeah. Nethercott yes. was back into the ring again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, fresh from doing his working group yesterday, which is full of very tall breeds, yeah. and then yeah. into the small group. Yeah. Well, he's, he comes from the small breeds. He started with Pekingese. He's a good dog man, has been for years. The Bichon looking lovely. Um, and he looked lovely at Driffield. He won the group there under yes. Jimmy Simpson. He's back on form. Yeah. He really looked great. He strode out. And, and didn't you love that enchanting little um, smooth oh, chihuahua? That's one of my favourites, I have to admit. He got reserve best in show somewhere. Yeah, at Richmond yes. and at SKC early yeah. in the year. Now that's a tip for next year, I think. I think we really should watch that little smooth chai. And then third was another one of favourites of mine, the King Charles Spaniel Theo. Yeah. He's done a lot for the breed. He's made people appreciate that this breed can move out. Yes. And of course, that peak we love. Yeah. And I understand broke the breed record, 41 cc's yesterday. Incredible. Equals, I think. Yeah, equals, equals. yeah. But what a good dog that peak has been consistently over the years, yeah. hasn't he? And I thought he looked actually particularly good uh, yesterday. Yeah. And against the green backdrop yes. of the carpet, I yeah. think it just picked up on his coat colour. I did. I noticed how lustrous his eyes looked. Yes. And, yeah. Well, he's a great dog. Yeah. So we're going to head to the main ring for the last time this Midland Counties. The Gundal Group, judged by Chris Bexon. Your chance to encourage the breeds here. The Brittany. The German wire-haired pointer. The Italian Spinoli. The Golden Retriever.
the English Springer Spaniel. The Sussex Spaniel. The Welsh Springer Spaniel. And finally, the Vaimarana. Just a few seconds before, we all know the winner of the Dundalk Group. Just a few seconds before, we all know the winner of the Gun Dog Group at Midland Counties 2013, and it is the Golden Retriever. <laughs> Group 2, the English Springer Spaniel. The Sussex Spaniel is Group 3. And the Italian Spinoni. Europe. Yeah. Let's get the slap of one of the Golden Retriever. The English Spinner. The Sussex Spaniel. And the Italian Spinoni. Congratulations, Sue and Aaron, on topping the Gundog Group here at Midland Thank Counties. Not the first time you've won a group with him, though. No, Birmingham National this year. He got Group 1. Uh, so, so, so pleased. He's had a Group 4 as well this year. So, really pleased. And he's got quite a few tickets under his he name, has. isn't he? 27. <laughs> That's quite a few. I hear that there was, what, 180, 200 goldies there yes, today? Yes, a very good entry. Really pleased. So, he loves showing. Absolutely adores showing real showman and that helps makes it very easy he's always got a wagging tail isn't he He has yes <laughs> absolutely loves it well he needs to keep on his toes because in the next few minutes you're going to be going into best in show how do yes. you feel for that oh terrifying <laughs> <laughs> but enjoy it it's yeah, lovely i'm, I'm very sure you proud will of him. very proud yes, indeed best of luck um, and we'll let you go and get ready thank you very much welcome to tom Matter. First to enter the ring, the winner of the pastoral group, the Border Collie. The Deer Hound, the winner of the Hound Group. The Boxer, the winner of the Working Group. The Wire Fox Terrier, the winner of the Terrier Group. The Vichon Frise, the winner of the Toy Group. The Standard Poodle, the Utility Group winner. And the winner today, the Golden Retriever. Winner of the pastoral group, the Border Collie, exhibit number 1417. 1417, the winner, the Border Collie of the pastoral group. The winner of the Hound Group, the Deer Hound, exhibit number 602. 602, the winner of the Hound Group.
the deer hound. The working group winner, the boxer, exhibit number 2387. 2387, the working group winner, the boxer. The Terrier winner, the winner of the Emmy Variety Lot, seventh classified at the Wirehead Fox Terrier, exhibit number 3935. 3935, the winner of the Terrier Group. The winner of the toy group, the Bichon Frise, exhibit number 3985. 3985, the winner of the toy group, the Bichon Frise. The Utility Group winner is Standard Poodle, exhibit number 6157. 6157, the Standard Poodle, the winner of the Utility Group. The winner of the Gun Dog Group, the Golden Retriever. Exhibit 7888. The end of a long day for this, the Gun Dog Group. The winner, the Golden Retriever. The boards have been called for after four days of intensive judging. Wonderful dogs, wonderful judges. We now await the result for Best in Show Midland Counties 2013. The Wild Fox Terror. And result, the standard total. The Wire Fox Terrier and the Reserve Dating Show, the Standard Poodle. Our congratulations to the both two stunning dogs. Two stunning dogs indeed. Thank you very much. So best in show was the Wire Fox Terrier, Oliver, that we've seen on the programme many times before. Richard Allen, I understand that was a really, really special win. Tell us why. Uh, that was his eighth best in show in one year today which has equaled the uh, all-time record for best in shows in the 12 month period so that's incredible and understand you've done it in six months as well yeah it's just about six months to the day because he started showing at the uh, end of april so that's incredible and you've handled a lot of dogs over your time how does he feel when you handle him uh he makes it easy for me does because he? he does most of it himself so I just have to keep him in line occasionally, but he's a dream. <laughs> we saw him having a play at the end there, trying to bite the tails on the rosettes yeah, as well. He's got a great temperament, 
the temperament of the dogs is paramount. So are you going to go for that all-important ninth best in show, perhaps? Well, there's one show left, so I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see you there. But let's talk to the judge, and this is Tom Mather. Now, I don't know about you, Tom, but from the outside of the ring, that looked incredibly exciting line-up in there. It was. I was so fortunate to have so many beautiful dogs to put my hands on. I love the poodle, obviously. I'd given that the group yesterday. And I've not judged the Wire Fox Terrier before, and I've not been able to... I've seen him from the ringside before and I've admired him but on the table he looks right back at you with all that keen expectation you want in the breed and he doesn't disappoint when he moves and he's so well put down and shows to perfection I really felt the night was his I thought the deer hound was very beautiful so elegant but powerful and, and such a good mover so. Well, Tom, it was a pleasure to watch you and thank you very much for sharing your comments you. um, about Best in Show. Best in Show winner for an eighth time in 2013 is champion Travella Striking Steel, the Wire Fox. Di, we've said everything about this dog, but he is exquisite. Oh, just stunning. But both the dogs, Simon, the, yeah. the winner and the reserve. There was a, a time, now you know I'm pretty experienced with dogs, there was a time that I thought for Tom to stand there both those dogs were really giving him the look, <laughs> weren't they? Both haughty, demanding the top award. Oh, what an experience. And we've watched them, haven't we, grow all the way through the year. And it's just great to see them at the top and being appreciated. At the beginning of this year, we came to Stafford for Birmingham National. Wire Fox was best in show, yeah. Standard Poodle Reserve, yeah. Uh, yeah. fighting for it all year. Yeah. And quite evenly balanced, really, if you think about it, aren't they? And now it's quite tense for the last two or three shows of the year, yeah. it can really go either way. Top Dog is really up for the taking. Um, just, yeah, I've said this, we're privileged to see dogs like this. It was a fantastic show. Thank you very much for joining us, Dan. Oh, it was my pleasure. Thank you for asking me. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time on Around the Dog World when we take a look back at a fantastic 2013.